Light, camera, action. Nigeria has the world's second largest film industry in terms of the number of films produced, trailing India's Bollywood and ahead of Hollywood. The Nigerian industry, collectively called Nollywood, is just starting to have an impact internationally. And as Mike O'Sullivan tells us, some Nollywood producers got some tips on marketing on a recent visit to Los Angeles. The 2012 film, Last Flight to Abuja, from director Obi Ebolonia, seen here in a clip from YouTube, was a disaster thriller based on the true tale of an air crash. 30 Days in Atlanta, a 2014 film from comic Ayo Makun, was the top-earning Nigerian feature ever. Cinema professors and movie professionals recently met with 30 Nigerian producers at the UCLA Film School, where the Nollywood movie makers got some tips on promoting their burgeoning industry. If an industry that employs close to a million people, either directly or indirectly, and has close to about um, $500 million in revenue annually. It could have billions in revenue if not for piracy. Pirated DVDs are sold openly in markets, and the Nigerian government has promised to crack down. Nigeria produces more than 1,000 feature films each year. They are typically direct to DVD, with low budgets in the tens of thousands of dollars. There is a market for Nigerian films across Africa and among Africans overseas, and Nollywood movie makers are using the Internet to reach them. In two weeks of seminars at the UCLA Film School, these producers heard about the art as well as the business of movie making. Hollywood actress Diane Ladd, a three-time Oscar nominee, praised the benefits of collaboration. When we in the arts work together, we're promoting culture. And remember, if a civilization loses its culture, you lose the civilization. Filmmaking is visual storytelling. And Nigerian producer Forster O.J. Mohon says his country has many stories. Legendary stories that we have not told. Now, some of those stories, we have the challenges of the techniques to put them, to bring them out as movies. That's a challenge. That's why we need to build our capacity to be able to tell our stories to the world. The Nigerian thriller October 1 from director Kunle Afolayan is one Nigerian film to make inroads outside the African market. It's a murder mystery set in the weeks before Nigerian independence on October 1, 1960. The film's trailer is available on YouTube and the movie can be watched on the internet streaming site Netflix along with several other Nollywood productions. Nigerian producers say there are more like it to come. Michael Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1800 UTC. And in the mornings to Daybreak Africa between 300 and 600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks for watching and good night from Washington.